All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. Today will be the uh, first of two playthroughs showing off Annihilation. Um, if you didn't catch the unboxing and the overview video, go check that out. Uh, I went over all the cards, just did it really quick. It's like 30 minutes, so it's not really quick, but went over them really quickly. Um, and uh, yeah, so, and if you did catch that video, you know that we're doing this today. Friday will be the episode six of What If? And then next week will be, well, I just now remembered. Next week will be the second part of Annihilation, but then the Friday needs to be October playthrough or October uh, monthly challenge, and we still got to do episode seven of What If. So maybe I'll do the monthly challenge for Friday, and then the week after that, we'll do What If, because at that point, I'll do two episodes of What If that week. So anyway, we'll deal with that later. Today, we're going to be doing this. Um, so how we're basically going to do it is we're going to do one of the uh, four schemes, one of the two masterminds, use their villain group, use three heroes, and then next week we'll do another scheme, the other mastermind, its villains, uh, the other two heroes, and then one of the ones from here, obviously. So we're going to start off with Annihilus of the two. Uh, Annihilus is going to be 10 plus attack. Let me get him to focus here. Um... He has mass momentum too. He always leads the annihilation wave. If there's only one player, you use six henchmen instead of three. And then his mass strike is you reveal a top card of the villain deck. If it's a bystander, Annihilus captures it. If it's a villain, it enters the city, captures a bystander, and moves forward in extra space before doing any ambush ability. Uh, so for the villain group, we're using his annihilation wave. The henchman group is going to be uh, uh, phalanx. And. Um, Mass momentum is if uh, he'll get plus two attack for every villain that uh, moved into a different city space this turn. So when they come out and then when they switch places, if they escape, it doesn't count. Um, we're going to be doing the scheme uh, put humanity on trial. So there's a lot going on here. It's 11 twist. We're going to stack 11 bystanders next to the scheme face down as galactic jurors. Special rules are each twist gives a juror a challenge to achieve this turn. If you do it, you convince the juror and you rescue them. If you don't, you put the juror face up next to the villain deck voting to condemn humanity. Twist 1 and 2 are opening arguments. You discard 3 cards with different names. Twist 5, uh, I'm sorry, 3, 5, and 7 are open argu or question witnesses. Recruit a hero that costs 5 or more. Twist 4, 6, and 8 are introduce evidence. Defeat villains worth three victory points or more. Twist nine through eleven is closing arguments. Defeat the mastermind. Evil wins when the six jurors vote to condemn humanity. All right. And the heroes we're going to be using are going to be uh, heralds of Galactus. They're going to be Super Scroll, and then we're going to be using Fantastic Four United. So let's go ahead and get things started here. And this is actually my second time doing this playthrough because uh, I actually bought another camera and uh, ran a playthrough with it. It was not very good because uh, my computer, the camera is actually nicer than the camera that I have now, but it didn't, my computer can't deal with it. So we're just going to, I had to return the camera and we're going to go ahead and use this. Uh, oh, let me get the, the jurors. So I had to just go ahead and get a different, I had to redo the playthrough and use my old camera. My old camera's fine. All right, so we have one scheme twist. We're not going to be able to, uh, we're not going to really be able to do um, what we need to do here. Uh, so we're going to have to, one of those are going to have to get out. But we have three here and three. So let's get this first, which is uh, stretching credibility. It's two attack. Uh, focus to attack when you draw a hand of cards at the end of your turn draw an extra card so that'll be really nice and then this juror is just gonna condemn humanity all right I'll go ahead and play, flip this over we got a master strike here so we're gonna have a card here it's not a scheme it's not a villain so it's not gonna do anything so there's that then we're gonna do the scheme twist um, again, I won't have three cards of different names to this card, so we're going to go ahead and we know that that is going to go there. Let's put something on the bottom. Um, with my five recruit, let's use four of it to get Human Torch. 
He is two recruit. If I focus two, I can KO up to two wounds from my hand or discard pile. And then if I K if I focus six, I'll get six attack and I gain a wound. So remember, I just have to pay um, that number of uh, recruit to get that ability. And um, yeah, I can do it as many times as I have recruit to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Scheme twist. So now I'm going to have to uh, recruit a hero that costs five or more. So we're going to have to try to get a Stardust here, but I doubt I'll have the recruit for it. <sighs> Darn it, I'm one off. So I'm going to play this. Uh, I'm going to spend the two recruit or the two attack to get to draw my extra card. I have five recruit, but I can't recruit anything because I have four, three, and I need five or more. Um, let's get another one of these. Now let's get Fire Lord for three. Um, this turn, your uh, hero's conquer ability also gives you attack if those city spaces have been destroyed. And if I play a blue hero, I get uh, Bridge Conquer too. So that means I get plus two attack if a villain is there. And then I'll use the other two to get a sidekick. Then this juror is going to condemn humanity. So we're th out three away. So. Okay. There's a Phalanx. So we have three attack and four recruit. We're going to kill this. We do not have a tech hero, so we're going to KO one of our heroes that has a recruit icon or attack icon. And then with the recruit, let's get another one of these stretching credibilities. And the turn. All right. Scheme twist. I have to defeat a villain worth three or more victory points, and there won't be any. There's no villains to fight, so it kind of puts me in a bad spot. I'm gonna have to, that's gonna end up getting out too. But we do have six recruits. We're gonna go ahead and use our six recruit here to get Stardust, which is gonna be four recruit. Uh, focus four. I get Rooftops Conquer four. But if I focus eleven, I search the hero deck uh, HQ or uh, your deck or discard pile for hunger Galactus hungers put it on top of your deck shuffle any deck you searched Okay. and we're going to end the turn this is really bad there's another bystander there so we're going to have to be able to hopefully I don't know alright we got uh, Queen of Annihilation she's got momentum 3 They've got Momentum Ambush, reveal top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain, play it, and it's not, so we're going to put that back. But they get Momentum 3 because they moved to City Space, so there's 7. We have 2 here, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So unfortunately, we can't really fight her. But with our 2 recruit, we get a sidekick. And then I'm going to focus uh, 3 times because I've got 2, 4, 6. So that's going to give us 3 extra cards when we draw. So there's our three extra, and then we'll do the rest of our hand. So maybe either way, if we get into put in a position where we have to do... The, oh, it's a, it's a bystander. Never mind. I'm going to say we're probably going to be in a good spot, but... All right. Um, okay. We're going to kick that off, because we know here's that. All right. So we've got that. We're going to draw our two. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have uh, four recruit. So with our, uh, we have seven attack. We're going to kill this. We're going to KO one of our heroes. I'm going to focus two attack for the next card. And then with the recruit, let's go ahead and grab uh, rock solid here. It's two attack. Um, but if I focus three attack, I get two recruit. That way, uh, if we need to recruit something kind of bigger, it, it'll help. 
All right, so there's our extra card, and there's our hand. Okay. We've got uh, a Phalanx. We're gonna, let's see. I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine recruit. There's some attack. Let's go ahead and do this and draw our two cards. Nine recruit. Um, let's one and two. Ten recruit and four attack. So I don't want to kill this because I don't have a black card and I don't want to KO my attack cards. So this is what we're going to do. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attack. Ugh, just one more shy of that one thing. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, six of my attack to uh, focus six. It's going to give me ten attack now. This came out, so he's twelve. Okay, so I have, so I don't have enough. Okay, but I have, I have ten attack now, and I, and I have to gain a wound. I have four more recruit. I'm gonna spend two of the recruit for the, for focus here and KO the wound, and then I'm gonna focus all my, all my attack here with this ability and get five cards, that I'll draw on my next turn. And I'll, and, we'll end, and I'll get a sidekick now because I've got two left. And we'll end the turn. So there's our extra cards. Here's our hand. Okay. All right. Another one of these. He's going to be 14. i got to put these on here so I remember. So since two moved, he's 14. Okay, um, we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attack, and uh, we have nine attack, and we have um, five recruit. We're going to kill both of these, leaving us three attack. We'll KO both of these. And then um, I'm going to spend two focus for a card draw, and then with my five recruit, Let's go ahead and grab, we'll grab another one of the, well, let's grab another rock solid. Okay, this is, this is what I've been wanting. That's the real card I've been wanting, but it's not. Okay, we need to draw one more card. These cards, because I this is the third time I've done this playthrough, because I did play it again after uh, I was waiting to record. Okay, hold on. That is number five. So that's going to be an odd one. We're going to have to recruit something. That's number five. And these cards are very good at getting rid of your uh, gray cards. Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll get this for six so we get that we've convinced that juror here which is detective wolverine when he rescues bystander investigate the villain deck for a villain worth one victory point and put that car uh, put it into your victory pile uh i'm going to put this on top i'm gonna put this on the bottom with my investigate all right so there was six of my recruits so i've still got two left um, and then I've got two, three, four, five, six, because it's blue. I get a bonus, and I'm going to uh, focus three, uh, three times for the attack to get the three extra cards. And then we can go ahead and end the turn. There's my whole hand. Okay. We've got uh, Ravenous, Momentum 3. It says Ravenous swaps places. This is ambush effect. Swaps places with an Annihilation villain that isn't weaponized Galactus. There isn't another one, so... But he is going to get his uh, momentum three, so he's eight. He's twelve. Okay. We're going to keep him around because we're going to need to kill something on the next twist. So if we can, well, let's try to see if we can take out Galact or uh, not Galactus Annihilus. One, two, three, four, five. Recruit. And then we have one, two, 
three, four, five, because I got uh, Conquer Sewer, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, unfortunately, just shy, just a little bit, but I have five recruit here. Let's get Invisible Woman. So she's two recruit. Um, she's got a two plus recruit. If you played another, if, if you've played any other cards that cost four this turn, you get plus two recruit, and then I can focus four uh, to rescue a bystander, and then you may KO a card from a hand or discard pile. This card is incredible. Okay. Like I said, I'm not going to kill this because I need it for the uh, scheme. So we're going to, oh, hold on, wait a minute. So I don't, I have, let's see, I had two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to focus four times uh, my attack and then draw four extra cards. That card is really good. It's really good when I can't attack. I think that's the thing. Most of the time you're attacking stuff, but it's like, right now it's, uh, it's just getting me a lot of cards. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, there's a phalanx. He's gonna move up to fourteen because both of them moved. All right. We've got two, four, six, seven, seven attack. And then one, wait, see, we have seven attack here. See, I don't want to kill that because I don't want to KO my stuff. But I'm going to focus twice with recruit and get four recruit for this. So I've got four, five, six, seven, eight recruit. I've got eight recruit there. I'm going to focus, um, let's see, eight, nine, ten recruit. So I had seven attack. I'm going to focus twice, three times. Or focus three, attack twice, giving me four recruit, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten recruit. I'm going to use this ability three times. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm going to use it, I'm sorry, and I, I'm going to use it four times to get rid of all this stuff. So I'm going to rescue a bystander. It's going to give me a shield officer here. Uh, and then I can KO a card from my discard hand or discard pile. We're going to do it again. It's going to get me a sidekick. Do the same thing. We're going to do it again. Uh, if the sewers are empty, but they're not, uh, we're going to do that again. And then finally, we're going to do this. It's Wolfsbane, and then we're going to KO that. All right, we're going to end the turn. Let's just get six cards this time. Master Strike. So let's go ahead and take this here. We're going to reveal this. It's a villain. It's going to come out, capture a bystander, and move up one space. And then uh, we're going to play another card from the villain deck, and it's going to be a scheme twist. This one's going to be uh, defeat a villain that's... I think... Let me double check. This is even. So this is going to be defeat a villain that has three points or... Or defeat villains worth three points or more. So let's go ahead and put something on the bottom. He's 16. We're not even going to worry about him right now. Um, but he is definitely 8, so we got to see if we can make 8 attack. And unfortunately, we won't be able to due to the fact that we don't have enough. So there's 5. Oh, no, we will. We will. And then I have uh, this. I forgot about this. I'm going to focus 4 for Rooftops Conquer 4. So it's going to give me 4 attack because the villain's there. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll kill this. And then we'll get the get the dealy here, which is going to give me a shard. Okay. Then uh, nine. That was nine. And I spent eight of it, so I have one. So I'll rooftops conquer four again. So, and I'll save the shard. But I have four attack. We'll kill this phalanx here. I'll get the KO of this, and then I get the bystander. When you rescue a spy stander, choose a hero on the HQ that costs four or less. You get its printed attack and recruit. And I'll pick this and get the recruit, or get the attack. Then I've got, I had one left here. I got four more, giving me five. I spent three, gave me two left. I got uh, two from this, so it's four. I'm going to focus twice the attack to get, to draw two extra cards. So there's my two extra. I think I counted that right. If I counted that wrong, just let me know. But I'm pretty sure I counted it right. 
Okay, I need... I need to uh, hit the mastermind sometimes. Scheme twist. This is going to put us at 7, which I think is recruit. I know I keep checking this every time. Yeah, recruit a card that costs 5 or more. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem now. We have so many stinging cards. We're going to play that. We'll draw 2. We have 2... Three, four, five, six, six there. Four recruit, five recruit, six, seven recruit. We'll get Mr. Fantastic here for seven. He uh, is two recruit. I get to draw two cards, and then I can focus five for seven against the Mastermind. So that'll be good for fighting the Nihilus. We're going to rescue the Bystander, which is going to be Stan Lee. Um, it says, uh, when you rescue this bystander, say a hero name, then reveal the top three cards of your deck. Put one of those with the exact hero name into your hand. Put the rest back in the door. I'm going to guess Fantastic Four United. And it's the only ones I don't have. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I spent the recruit there. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, I will play this for two recruit. And KO this with the focus. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's not enough. I need to focus four. Sorry. Let me think about it. Hold on. I'll play this for two recruit. Um, I'll spend the shard and focus three for the other two recruit and then kill this with uh, the four focus. And then I've got two, four, berserk three times, five, six, attack. 7-8 attack. We'll kill this, and I'll KO this, and we'll end the... Because I, I do have a tech hero, but I'm not going to reveal the tech hero. So we're going to get rid of that and win the turn. I just don't like those... I really don't like those X-Men cards. I think... I mean, they're fine in certain contexts, but like I just feel like they're not... They don't really... I don't want to deal with them a lot of times. So I'm just getting rid of them. Okay. 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 How many times can I say okay? Ravenous, he's going to ambush, but he's not going to move because there's no other deals, but he's going to be 8. And he's going to be 12. Let's put that there for my... All right. We've got 4, 5, 6. I can make 10. <laughs> there's 6 there. We have 2... Three, four, five, because of that. Six, I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, we have so we have four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got six here. I have eight here. I can focus my six, get attack, kill hit a nihilus, or I can focus my recruit. I can focus for recruit, then focus on the recruit and get the Galactus card. Let me think about this again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and this will give me two. 9, 10, 11, 12. Do I get Galactus? Okay. I'm going to focus 3 of the attack here to get 2 recruit. And focus 3 of the attack here. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6 recruit. Or 6 attack I'm focusing for 4 recruit. So 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to focus 11 and search the hero deck for Galactus Hungers. So we're going to get Galactus Hungers, and we're going to shuffle this deck. We're going to put it on top of our deck. I think this is just the right move because um, this will just help us out in the long run. So so Galactus Hungers here. He's going to be uh, 8 attack. Uh, if you've played another hero of Galactus this turn, destroy the leftmost city space. Defeat any villains there. Then you get plus 2 attack for each destroyed uh, city space. If this... This destroys the last city space. Galactus consumes the earth. You win. Evil wins. And all their players lose. And then we're going to end the turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to play a card from the villain deck here. It's going to be a master strike. We're going to play. Look at this. It's a villain. It's going to come out. We're going to capture a bystander. And then push forward. It has um, its ambush ability, which is going to make it swap with the leftmost one. And then we get to play another card from the villain deck for the master strike, which is going to be... Queens of Annihilation, they get Ambush, real top part of the villain deck if it's a villain, play it, and it's not, so we're good there. They've all got momentum right now, 
So he's 18, he's 8, she's, or they're um, 7, and then Annihilus is 16. So I'm just not going to keep track of all that. Okay, so first off, we'll play this. We're going to play this. It's going to destroy this city space. Um, I don't know, I'll put some dice in the way. Not to go there. So I have 8 attack from that. Um, let's see, we're going to play that and draw two. There's one. Two. Three, four, and then it, because this space is destroyed, I get Bridge Conquer, which is going to give me uh, four attack here. So this is 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And there is four recruit. So we have 20 attack here and we have uh, 10 recruit. So 20 attack and 10 recruit. I'm gonna spend, uh, I'm gonna focus five twice to get 14 attack for Annihilus. So we're gonna use 14 of the attack to, or 16 of the attack to hit him, leaving me 18 here. Uh, it says each other player reveals the top three uh, cards of their deck. KO the highest cost here. They revealed that way. Put the rest back in any order. So um, this will get, well, yeah, this will get KO'd. And then I have uh, 18 attack right now. He's still 16. So I can hit him again, but let's hit Galactus and we'll get able to take this. Um, because he's 18, so he's dead. And then you may, when you rescue Spine Center, you may KO one of your heroes or a hero from your Discord battle. We're not going to KO anything. We're just going to let it go. And then we're going to end the turn. So, as you can see, that was the right play there. Oops. We know the next card is a Scheme Twist. So, this is here. And this will be Scheme Twist number 8. So, I'll have to defeat a villain. That's three or more victory points. So that should be fairly easy. But let's put something on the bottom. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not quite enough. We'll do this and we'll draw a card. Okay. So that's one attack there. Uh, three attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I get four, five, six, seven attack here. Let's kill, let's see. And I have, let's see, what do I have here? Seven attack and we have eight recruit. I'm going to use six of my attack, I'm sorry, six of my recruit to focus the six to get six attack and gain the wound. I'm going to spend the other two to, to KO the wound with the other focus ability. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's just kill both of these guys. We're going to KO this with the one effect and we're going to get this bystander, which is going to give us a, sci or a sidekick. And then we can end the turn. We get one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Scheme Twist. This is number nine. We have to defeat the Mastermind so we can fight him. We'll be able to fight him this turn. At least that's how I read the card. It says defeat the Mastermind. So I would assume it means take a tactic, um, which we'll be able to do. So we'll play this for four. Then we'll play this, destroy the next city space. Uh, and then I get bonus attack for that, so it gives me uh, 12 attack. Um, I'm going to draw two, so there's 12 attack there. I'm going to do that and draw two. Twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's see, what do we want to do here? We have 20 attack. We just know straight off the bat we've got 20. We've got 4, 6, 
7, 8. 9, 10, recruit. 11, recruit. Uh, so I'm going to spend focus 5 twice to give me uh, 14 attack. So 14 plus 20 is going to give us 34. So let's hit Annihilus. Uh, if this is not the final tactic, if Weaponized Galactus is in the city, he escapes. If Weaponized Galactus wasn't in the city and wasn't in any victory pile, then he enters the city from the villain deck and you shuffle the villain deck. Well, we know we have him, so he's not going to come out. We're going to get the bystander because of that, which is going to be Sunspot. We're going to hit him again. Uh, the cost of each hero in the HQ gets minus two this turn, and then we're going to hit him a third time. And check all the Annihilation Wave villains from each victory pile, the one worth most victory points. Nah, whatever. All right, we won. One too bad. Let's go ahead and count the points. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we had 61 points here. Quite a few bystanders, but 61. And then we had um, nine twists, which would be 27. So 61 minus 27 is 41. Let's see. 34 61 minus 27 34 nailed it all right <laughs> so that's going to be a playthrough today you guys um if you've gotten annihilation let me know what you guys thought of it so far these uh the fantastic four united cards are really really good they work really really well with getting rid of your cards very quickly and also this card is the mvp honestly it's it's great um but yeah, let me know if you've tried the set yet. Uh, remember, Friday will be the What If episode f 6. What if Killmonger saved Tony Stark? I think, I don't remember if that's the exact title, but I'll have the exact title there when we see it. And then the um, Tuesday after, a week from today, will be the second Annihilation playthrough. And then the Friday after that will be the uh, October um, monthly challenge. So anyway... That's going to be it this week, or today, not this week. That's going to be it today, guys. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.